Welcome to Electron Line. To get a better understanding of what a partial derivative is, we have a visual example of it. Let's assume we have the temperature in a room. On the horizontal axis here, you can see how the temperature changes from left to right. And on the vertical axis here, we can see how the temperature also changes from bottom to top. So this is the y-axis, this is the x-axis. So you can see that the temperature depends on both the x and the y variables, which are in this case then the independent variables. The function that describes that is right here. The temperature as a function of x and y is equal to 60 when x and y are 0. And then as x changes, so plus 2x, and as y changes, plus 4y. Now, if we take the partial derivative of that function with respect to x, that means we're going to keep y constant, y doesn't change at all, and we want to see how the temperature changes when x changes. When we take the partial derivative, the 60 is a constant, the 4y is a constant, and only this here becomes the variable. We take the partial derivative with respect to x of 2x, and we get 2, which means when x changes by 1, the temperature changes by 2. You can see if we start at this spot right here when x is equal to 2, and then we change the x value to 3, it goes from 72 to 74 degrees, therefore you can see that the temperature changes by 2 units when x changes by 1. Now let's take the partial derivative of that same function with respect to y. Now we're going to keep x constant, so this becomes a constant, 60 is a constant. When we take the partial derivative with respect to y, this goes to 0, this goes to 0, and the partial derivative with respect to y of 4y is simply 4. Now here we can say that if y changes by one unit, the temperature changes by four units. And if we go check that here, you can see that if we go from y equals 2, where it's 72 degrees, to y equals 3, it becomes 76 degrees, which is 4 degrees warmer than 72. Again, keeping x constant, we only allow y to change. And if we keep y constant, we only allow x to change. And that's what we mean by a partial derivative. It allows us to find out how the function changes when we keep all the other variables constant and we only allow one of the variables to change. That's what we mean by partial derivative.